We're standing here in the St. Louis Science Center in the Mission Control, XPRIZE Mission Control, which we developed for my flight across the Atlantic. On the 75th anniversary of my grandfather's flight, I flew from San Diego to St. Louis, St. Louis to New York, and then New York to Paris, retracing his steps. And I did that primarily for one reason, and that was to promote the XPRIZE, the future of flight. And in doing so, saved the XPRIZE at, at, at a juncture where it was about ready to close its doors. And many of the XPRIZE board members did that at one time or another. I'm really happy to know that, that I had a hand in, in saving it once. And in doing my flight, managed to build XPRIZE mission control here, which we used for that flight and during other momentous flights, including the Ansari X Prize. So that was all based here at the St. Louis Science Center. And to know that we developed education programs around that to light up kids all around the world is one of the biggest gifts of doing this program. We're empowering kids to think about the future of flight and to think about what they can do to create the future that they want so that their kids can live and move out into the stars. Five years after the winning of the X Prize, what we've seen now is a true fulfillment of our original vision. When we launched here at the St. Louis Science Center in 1996, we didn't just have a vision of suborbital spacecraft. We had a vision of jump-starting and launching the private space industry, the age when you and I could go and buy a ticket and fly into space. And that age is now here, and in the next year or two, we should start seeing those on small private spacecraft, not just Russian trips to the space station, which is available to a, just a very few, very fortunate few. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at CirrusDesign.com. Prizes are extraordinary in their ability to really light people up, to get them to think outside of the box and work really hard toward a goal. So in 1919, Raymond Ortega put up a, uh, excuse me, a $25,000 prize to be awarded for the first flight between the cities of New York and Paris. And a funny thing happened. In 1927, my grandfather won it, thinking outside of the box. But seven teams spent $400,000 trying to win that $25,000 prize. So Ortega leveraged his money by a factor of 16, and all that research and development went into long-distance air travel. That's extraordinary. So Peter Diamandis, in reading my grandfather's book, The Spirit of St. Louis, said, "Oh." This is how we're going to do space travel for you and I. And he launched the X Prize. So in solving that issue for suborbital space flight, what we've done is really accelerated that process of getting you and I into space and more. We're now leveraging that with the Google Lunar X Prize and social prizes as well, the automotive X Prize for 100 mile per gallon equivalent plus efficiency in automobiles, really trying to solve those grand challenges that we see facing us in the future. And I think that bringing back prizes as a modality to um, enhance technology development, we have really opened up floodgates that were there early on in aviation. Aviation was developed primarily by two things, warfare and prizes. And we've accelerated that in our modern day. And now lots of companies are offering prizes, including XPRIZE. And I actually have a new prize, so I'm very, very excited about that. The beauty of the Release 9 system architecture is that you have two fully redundant integrated flight displays. Each has access to all the systems and data. Providing full redundancy and eliminating traditional reversionary modes, Release 9 allows either display to be configured as the PFD. Now your failure modes are much more manageable because you can continue to fly with the same familiar display symbology without the need to relearn composite modes you don't typically fly with. Avidyne's Integra Release 9 is truly the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology. XPRIZE has had a profound effect on my life, I think. When I first came to St. Louis, I was disabled. I was walking with a cane and uh, my life consisted primarily of sitting. And 
being involved in working with people like Anusha Ansari and Peter Diamandis and Greg Marinak and all of the rest of the people that were invested in making this dream come true has lit me up in a way that causes me to think about problems that we face in our world. And how do I solve those? Because politicians, as well-meaning as they might be, they just don't have a good record of solving problems. And yet, we do. And I'm constantly surrounded by these people looking outside of the box. Bert Rutan solving this issue of getting out of the gravity well into space and creating solutions to problems. That's been incredibly empowering and leads me down the rest of the path of my life, which is extremely exciting. When I see a problem, I see an opportunity. And that's been um, huge in my life. In five years, I also expect to see huge changes in aviation. I expect to see electric aircraft flying and alternative fuels being used, renewable fuels and transportation changing. All of these big changes are being driven by mostly by entrepreneurs thinking outside of the box. It's not the giant corporations that move very slowly. It's not our governments. It's small groups of visionary people who won't take no for an answer that are pushing the boundaries and working to solve those problems. Those are the big changes that we're going to see, and, and, and those are the people that um, are going to make that happen.